now that spring is coming, hopefully soon, um, I thought maybe some sandals might be nice to try to draw. Um, now, strappy sandals, you know, they're always popular, so I think it's probably a good idea to try to um, show you how to draw those. We'll start with a heel. Let's do kind of a more traditional feminine heel. Okay, then let's do an ankle strap that comes down. So again, the strap will start at the, the heel right here. So then you just lightly draw because you might, this takes a bit of practice to kind of find your footing. Mm. So that's the first line of a strap. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the second line. It's going to be thin straps, so just watch your hands and go parallel to the original line. Okay. So we're going to go back in and draw the uh, the buckle in a little while. I usually like to save the buckles for last because they're a bit time-consuming. I like to just get my ideas out for now. Okay, so let's say there's another strap coming around on the other side, kind of meeting in the middle, and then kind of swinging over this way to make kind of a teardrop shape. Okay, so you just kind of want to give some idea that there's another strap on the other side so people know what's going on. So you just kind of draw a very small line like that, so people can tell something's going on back there. They assume that it's symmetrical to this side. So if it's not, then you have to draw another inside view. This is called the outside of the foot. So you have to draw an inside view to show what the in what's going on on the inside at least. Okay, so then I draw this line here, which is how this strap comes across. And you just draw again, draw a line parallel to your original line. Okay, so let's say this strap goes back to the other side. So you just kind of manipulate the lines. And let's say this strap comes back around and kind of makes a open toe like that. Okay, and then I think we should, and we need some straps at least to hold in this foot. Otherwise it's just going to be going all over the place and you're going to break your ankles. Okay, so I just draw, try to draw them a bit far apart. You need to make this width a bit wider than the actual width of the strap so people can very easily see that, um, that there's some space between them. Okay, so then I just kind of try to keep keep all the widths the same. But sometimes around here it gets a little tricky, even just making the shoes it gets tricky. So that's probably enough. We'll add a couple more. This strap. Let's redraw that one. Okay, so as you can see, it's open here, which people can see from the lines. Okay, another way to show that is by drawing the insole board again. So you start back here and draw a line parallel to this curved line here. Then you draw it in between the strap lines. This will be a great way to show what's a strap and what's an opening. And then you just draw. Then you 
continue it out all the way to the edge. And now that that's happened, now you need to kind of redraw your toes. Okay. And erase this bit here. So I'm going to redraw the heel too a little bit so you can see. It doesn't just mold into one line. Okay. This is a bit funky there. Okay, so I'm going to draw one more buckle. Again, if this is the center, it's going to be back here a little bit. Um, this time I'll draw an oval buckle. It's all one piece. Okay? It's a bit easier to draw. So you just draw two curves. One here, one here. I just kind of draw an oval. It helps. And it's the same width as the strap. And then you draw another one that's parallel to the original, but a bit wider. And then you draw your notch again for your pin, and then you just draw the end of the strap. What I like to do, adds a little bit of something, is just draw the end of the strap coming like this. So you can see that there's one strap underneath and there's the buckled strap that kind of comes over it a bit. That takes a bit of erasing. <laughs> and then you can see this underneath strap here. So that's that.